Hey guys, today's video is going to be a opening my mock GCC exam results 2016 and I have six results here that I got just recently, yesterday I got these and as soon as I got them I thought about doing a video and a few of you might think I'm bragging in this video for what I got but I'm not honestly, I just, people from, some of my friends requested to see this video and I thought it'd be a good idea, I've always wanted to film one so I'm just going to get on with showing you what I got in my mock results. So to start off the video I have um, business studies and this was the exam I did in February. Some of these are combined with my coursework so I will let you know with what I got on my exam because it's the great, some of them like English is a mix of my coursework and my exam so I will let you know and if I keep like sort of like gasping for F in this video I have like a <coughs> like a really bad cough and it's like tickling the back of my throat so if I suddenly just look like I'm wheezing it's because I have quite a bad cough so the first one I have is business studies and this was just the exam and I got a B on this and I was really surprised and quite happy because my coursework for business is done so I don't know how I got on with that because it doesn't show up on here but for the exam I got a B and I was hoping for a B as all of this year and last year when I've been doing my business I've always been getting B's and A's so I was really hoping for a B on my mock exam because I overall want to do business at sixth form and I need a B in my business studies to do business at sixth form so getting a B on my mock was really positive to know that I might get into sixth form with my business studies and the next one I have is English, English language and this was in my exam and my control assessment together and to give you like a brief understanding I did my coursework last year and some of that was D's which isn't great and some of it was low C's and some of it was high C's so overall it was a C for my coursework and um, I think I needed a really high B on my exam to get a B overall so yeah I got a B overall in English and I was not expecting that at all as my past papers I had done were all like D's and C's which is quite good for me so I was hoping for a C if I got a C I was being really happy and I opened this paper and I was just like over the moon to know that I got B in English because I really enjoy English and I never thought that I'd get a B in English, I always thought I would either get a C or a D and I was really hoping for a C and if I got a C I would have been like really really happy but to get a B I was just like literally ecstatic so at the moment I have two B's and I will put like a tally here so you can see what I got so I got a B in business and a B in English so I'll put them here so the next one I have is history and I'm not amazing at history but I really enjoy history and my coursework <coughs> my coursework for history was not the best grade I could have got I tried my hardest but I just didn't get what I wanted but I'm not going to tell you what I got in history um, if you're one of my friends you'll know what I got and I tried so I, I'm, but I'm not going to share what I got because it's not embarrassing but it's just not amazing so for my exam only, which is on the sheet, it says history exam only, I got a D, which I was pleasantly surprised about because um, I need a C in history overall to pass history, if you know what I mean. So I needed a C on my real exam. So to get a D on my mock, I was really happy. And yeah, history is one of my like favourite subjects. I really enjoy history, but I'm just not amazing at it. So to get a D in history I was really surprised as my past papers had been all some C's and some D's and a few E's so to get a D overall I was really happy and the next one I got was math, Mathematics and this was just for the exam. I got a C which I need a C in English and Maths to get into my sixth form so to get a C in my mock for Maths I was really really happy. Um, I know I got 71 marks out of 200 which is I think 35.5% so um, yeah I was really happy when I got the C um, 
Yeah, so at the moment I have two Bs, one D and one C. So the next grade I have is Media Studies, and this is my exam and my control assessment joined. So um, my control assessments have all been Bs, and some parts to my control assessments have been As. So I was hoping for a B, but I got a C overall, which I'm still happy about because it was a really hard exam, and I always have two. I have two months to improve. So to get a C, I was really happy. Um, and media, I want to become a media teacher when I'm older, so I need a B in media. Take it a sixth form. So um, to get a B in my mock, I to get a C in my mock. I was really happy. So at the moment, I have two Bs, one D, and two Cs. Next one I have is science, and this is additional science OCR, and um, this is just for the exam only. I got a B, which I'm really really happy about. I wanted a B as I try. I've tried so much in year 11 to get a B, and yeah, it worked, and I got a B. Last year I got a C on my <coughs> on my gateway science. I got a C, so I was really happy in the mock to get a grade B which was really really good and the last one I have which isn't on my paper is our religious studies we did this in our lessons but it was still one of our mocks so I'm still going to tell you anyway and that was a B so overall I got four B's two C's and one D so if you'd like to see that video if you'd like to see the video for my real exams, comment there down below and I really want to film that. So if you guys want to see it, I'll be so happy to film that. So I can always do like a live reaction of actually opening it when I open my grades. So comment that down below and I hope you all have had a brilliant day and thank you for watching.